So when you're managing those ruts, obviously if you got deep tracks out there, you're gonna have to do some type of soil work to get them back into planting shape. What are you seeing for, for options that producers are doing? We went after small, just small areas that we had, we had problems with. Gl glad I did. I just went out with a box scraper and tried sure. to put some of that back into the hole and then just lightly disc over it to finish filling that in. Okay. But some of that settled, so I'm gonna probably have to touch it up again this spring. Yeah. That's probably what I'll do is try and pull what's mushed up dirt or whatever and close that up best I can, maybe field cultivated a little bit in just small areas, just to level it up a little bit for the long term anyway. Now with the way things have settled and worked out through the year, we'd probably use a vertical till on that and then be able to plant right into it as would be the goal. I don't like doing tillage, but if I have to go out and fix areas, I make sure the row, the direction the rows are is the direction I do my tillage, <laughs> if I have to. I think that probably the biggest thing is to get a living root back in them areas and let the roots do the do their job besides growing a plant is to open up the soil. So. My combine, even where I drove through some water to harvest, probably still only got some six inch ruts. And I just real happy with that. I won't even I won't even bother with them. So You just let them heal themselves. They'll heal themselves. Yeah. So Yeah. Because your rows are probably in line with them anyway. And yeah, I ride on the rows a little bit too. Sure. I drive on top of the rows a little bit too with my narrow rows. So that helps carry it also so you're not right on the soil either that way. Mm -hmm. Use the organic matter or the res use the residue to be your carrier too. Absolutely. Uh -huh.